I'm Brad Nessler, here along with two of the best commentators in the game, Kirk Herbstreet and Lee Corso. And it is raining here for tonight's game between the Michigan Wolverines and the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame. Folks, these two programs have very little affection for one another. This rivalry is a great one. And here comes the Fighting Irish. The Fighting Irish are going to have to play a great football game if they expect to win this one, Kirk. Michigan has one of their best players lining up in their backfield. Lee, expect a huge game from him running the football and maybe even catching a few passes. He's a tremendous athlete, and they'll use him as much as they can. Okay, you ready for my pick? Michigan is going to manhandle him. and we're ready for kickoff. We should have a return on this one. Number 15 fields it at the seven. This safety's a big time player, but he's gonna have to play his best game today. He faces a quarterback that can make you pay if you're not careful. I'm predicting an interception by this kid today. I like that. Kirk making a call. Let's see if he picks off one before this game is over. The ball is knocked to the ground. Players use anything they can to get in the way of a pass. Second and ten. Ball on their own 27. High formation here. Inside two. They'll bring him down. The halfback picks up a yard. It's third down and nine to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. From the gun. Drops back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Let's it go. He got it! To the 20, to the 10. Touchdown, Michigan! They went for the home run, and the wideout came through with a big-time play. Great call here by the offensive coordinator. He knew that he had a chance to get the matchup that he wanted, and he exploited it for a touchdown. Tacks on the extra point. A lot of game left. Four minutes remaining in the quarter. And our score, Michigan, seven. Notre Dame, nothing. Michigan, ready to kick this one off. He hits a booming kick. Number 20, fields it in the end zone. And now we'll see the offense coming out onto the field for their next possession. They'll start this drive at the 30. The Irish line up with three wide. Ball. Number 
number 68 with a recovery. Talk about a close call. The running back put the ball on the ground, but the offense keeps possession. Yo, Kirk, is it somebody's birthday on defense? I don't know. Where are you going with this one? Well, it's got to be somebody's birthday, because this running back is handing out presents out there. Either that, or he's doing his best to get benched. Now I got you, Coach. Fumble, birthday present. I got you. It's second down and nine to go. Ball on their own 31. The fighting Irish come out in the ace formation. Takes off a tackle. Tackle. That's a nice six-yard gain. Gain of six on the play. We've got third and three here. Ball on the 37. Notre Dame will line up in a jumbo set here. Toss. He's gobbled up in the backfield. That glitch couldn't have worked any better for the defense or any worse for the offense. Notre Dame lining up the punt. Number 17 gets it off. Number 15 takes it to the 23. Makes a move. Thanks to some nice passing on the last drive, the offense was able to take it down the field for six. And great play calling to help make that an easy drive. The question is, can they do it again? The Wolverines go with the eye formation. Little shake and bake move. And he's taken down. A gain of three yards by the fullback. Second and seven. Ball on their own 28. They come out of a nickel. Nickel defense. On the ground with the tailback. And he's going to lose yards on this one. Give this linebacker a big play in that stat column for an excellent tackle there. It's third down and nine to go. Ball on their own 26. Number seven is back in the gun. He drops back. He steps up, looks. Once and all, going deep. Dropped by the wideout. They line up to pump this one away. Number 36 gets it off. Number 20 signals for a fair catch. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. First and 10. Ball on the 42. The Irish come out in a shotgun. Looking, steps up. He's going to air it long. Someone got a hand on it. And that one's fallen incomplete. And that pass falls incomplete because it was deflected. That's great defense right there, Brad. That's something the coaches always remind their players to do. Get a hand up in the face of the quarterback. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 42. Notre Dame goes with the ace set here. Yuku. They'll bring him down. Not much help from his blockers, and he's only able to gain a yard. Now it's third and nine coming up. Ball on their own 43. Notre Dame comes out in the shotgun. Nice 
snap. And here's a quick throw. Got it. And he's brought down. So on third down, they pick up the first and a lot more. When that kid caught the ball, he wasn't thinking about first down. He was thinking touchdown. First and ten. Ball on the 22-yard line. The Irish with four receivers. He's looking. Over the middle. He catches another one. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of ten times. One man back for you. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Brought down. Back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. No gain on the play. Ace backfield. Drop back to pass. He'll dump this one off. Excellent job of getting a hand in there to break up the pass. It was, Coach. That one had reception written all over, but the defender stepped up and made the play. The fighting Irish set up in the gun. Steps up in the pocket. Looks. He's going left. And it's caught. That'll be a seven-yard pickup. Fourth and short. They get it out there on the top. And he stopped behind the line. Well, they'll turn it over on down. Did they have to go for it there? Well, sometimes you got to take your chances. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. They'll get the ball here at the one. The Wolverine come to the line with their jumbo package. And he's hit hard. A two-yard run by the halfback. It's second down and eight. Ball on their own three. Come out in a goal line set on the ground with the tailback. Sheds that one. He jukes. And now he's got room to run at the 30. He's all alone. Across midfield at the 40, at the 30, to the 20, to the 10. Touchdown, Michigan. That was a big run by the halfback. Well, this kid makes the defense look silly. They're grabbing out a bunch of air down there. They gotta hit somebody. hits the PAT. So we take a moment to check out the Pontiac Drive Summary.
Michigan lines up for the kickoff. We should have a return on this one. Number 28 fields it in the end zone. Their last drive ended when they decided to try for it on fourth down and were turned away by the defense. First and 10. Ball on their own 20. From the gun. They'll throw on first down. Looking, feeling the pressure. And it falls incomplete. And he overthrew his wide receiver. I don't know too many seven-foot guys play football, so maybe he should aim lower the next time. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 20. The Irish come out in a shotgun. He drops back. He steps up. He's looking. Throws it to the outside. Tackle. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed, and the result was a first down. First and ten. Ball on their own 30. The fighting Irish come out of the eighth formation. And they hit him in the backfield. The quarterback draw not successful there. Nope, and I'm going to tell you why. This defense was not fooled at all on that play. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 29. And the impact linebacker has turned it up a notch. Back to pass. He'll dump this one off. He's knocked out of bounds. And they pick up two yards. Now it's third and nine coming up. This is the fifth play of this drive. They'll bring in their dime package. Drops back to pass. Steps up. Looks. Over the middle. And it's the senior. And that pass and catch gives them a first down. Yep, they got the first down. But it wasn't by much, you guys. First and ten. And this is the sixth play of the drive. The impact player at running back is in the zone right now. They'll throw on first down. Wants to throw outside. Batted ball. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. Way to keep your head on a swivel, kid. That was a nice job of locating the football and knocking it down to prevent the completion. Sure was, coach. He put himself in great position to make a play. Michigan brings in the nickel here. He's hit and got away, and he's tackled. That was a pretty good run. Incredible effort there, running the football by this guy. It's first and ten. This is the eighth play of this drive. The Irene line up with four wideouts, setting up the play action. Throws this one out to the right, and that one will go down as an incompletion. It's too bad because the wide receiver made a super effort to catch that pass. Yeah, Coach, he's got the ability to come up with that circus catch. I want that kid on my team. It's second down and 10 to go, and this is the ninth play of the current drive. From the gun, back to pass, steps up in the pocket. Over the middle, tackle. Way to look it in. Nice catch. Sure was. He displayed some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down. First and ten. This is the tenth play of this drive. Notre Dame lines up in a shotgun set. Drops back to pass. Looking. Across the middle, 
has it to the senior. They'll bring him down. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of ten times. It's first and ten. Ball on the 18-yard line. They're back in the red zone where they have really struggled lately. Here's the give. Lost the ball. Fumble. And he's hit hard. And this turnover is certainly not what they were hoping for. The rich get richer, but let's not write them off just yet. It's still early, but they can't afford to turn the ball over and let this thing get out of hand. Yard line. At the 16 yard line. First and 10. The Wolverine come out of the two tight end set. A little juke. Tackle. And he's already over the 100 yard mark with that run. And he's made it look so easy. He's going through, around, and on top of this defense with no problem. He really has. At this rate, he could easily be looking at 200, maybe even 300 yards rushing today. It's second down and five to go. Ball on the 21. Two tight ends here. Makes a move. Has some daylight. And he's taken down. And that was a nice run. Kirk, that was a great job by that big offensive line. Yeah, it really was, Brad. And also, a nice read by the ball carrier to find that running lane. When you break one like that, you got to give a lot of credit to the offensive line. First and 10, ball on their own 37. Number 20 is in the zone and looking to make something happen. He drops back. He steps up, down the middle. The ball is tipped. Heads up play to bat it down. Yeah, and if you can't get to the quarterback or intercept the pass, the next best thing is to get a hand up. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 37-yard line. High formation here. Setting up the play action. Down the middle. And they couldn't hook up on that one. And he overthrew his wide receiver. I don't know too many seven-foot guys play football, so maybe he should aim lower the next time. Third and ten. This is the fifth play of this drive. They come out of a nickel. Drops back to pass. Throws it to the outside. Almost intercepted. You can't expect to get a good drive when you're unable to complete any passes. That's exactly why this one didn't get him any points. one away. He gets it away. Number 20 makes it to 21. I'm sure the defense will be trying to strip the ball once again. And if these kids don't start hanging on to the football, they won't see another offensive series. They might start putting in some of those defensive players that really want to play bad. They'll take over at the 24-yard line. Notre Dame comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. He spins around. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Notre Dame takes a timeout. Second and 11 coming up. Ball in the 23. They'll bring him down. Michigan calls a timeout. Hey. 
It's third down and eight to go. Ball on the 26-yard line. Number three wants the ball. We'll see if they give it to him. Nice play fake. He's looking. Across the middle. He makes a diving catch. First and ten. Ball on the 46-yard line. Notre Dame lines up in a double tight set. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. Down the middle. And it's the senior. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed, and the result was a first down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 36. Notre Dame sets up with four receivers. They hand it off again. He's into the open field. Little shake and bake move. Tackle. Notre Dame takes a timeout. Spice red zone numbers. Red zone, when performance matters the most. They'll be protecting that football after learning the hard way on their last trip to the red zone. Yuku, he's hit and got away. And they make the stop. Couple of yards there by the tailback on the counter. Eleven yards out. The Fighting Irish come out of the ace formation, setting up the play action. End zone! He came down with it. Touchdown! So they call a tight end number, and he comes through with the score. He did a great job here of using his size to create space for himself so the quarterback could get the ball into it without any defenders getting in the way. Kirk, you know, in high school, this guy was so big he played defensive tackle. When he's going across the middle, he never shies away from a big-time hit. No, he's more interested in delivering punishment than taking it. And he tacks on the extra point. Time to take a look at the drive summary. It's brought to you by Pontiac. Fuel for the soul. like they're ready for the kickoff. Decent kick, looks to be returnable. Number 15 takes it at the four, he jukes him. They're just about ready to get this drive started. After their last series had some promise, but it ended with a punt. They'll start this drive at the 19 yard line. Michigan comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. A little misdirection. He jukes. Brought down. The tailback picks up a solid seven yards on the counter play. Second and three. Ball on their own 26. Nickel defense. He passes it. 
And that one's fallen incomplete. He had his wide out, but he couldn't hit him. When he misses, it's usually high. And that's something he's been working very hard with his coach on. It's third down and three to go. Ball of the 26. This is the kind of running back who can make you pay when he's in the zone. They'll run for the first on third and short. Tries to juke. Jed's a tackler. Tackle. Michigan calls a timeout. First and ten. Ball on the 35. So we'll probably get one last heave to the end zone here before halftime. They'll throw on first down. Steps up, looking, and down he goes. And we've reached halftime here. The score at the break, Michigan 14, Notre Dame 7. Start the second half as the teams are lined up for the kickoff, and they'll be returning this one. Number 28 fields it at the three. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. It's first and ten. Ball on the 13. Number 10 comes to the line with three wide. They'll throw on first down. Steps up in the pocket. He's looking. He wants the long ball. He has him on the fly to the 20. Goodbye. The throw to the wide receiver goes for a touchdown. That kid looks like a natural receiver out there. Well, you could say he's from a good pedigree when it comes to football. I think his father's taught him very well. So with under five minutes left in the third quarter, our score, Notre Dame 14, Michigan 14. Kick this one off. Number 15 and number 17 back ready to return. Number 15 fields it at the three. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. For those of you just tuning in, it's the third quarter, tie ball game, and we're still waiting for this highly praised safety to make some plays. In a tight game like this, they're going to need to come up with an interception or a fumble. And it's not like he hasn't done it before. After all, he is their impact player on defense. A couple of yards there by the tailback on the counter. It's second down and eight to go. Ball on the 26. Keep it on the ground again. Spins upfield. 
And he stopped behind the line. Nice tackle to bring him down before he got back to the line of scrimmage. Solid effort there to break up that play. Third and 11. Ball on the 23-yard line. Ace backfield. Back to pass. Looks. Throws this one out to the left. He's knocked out of bounds. That's how you convert third down, sweetheart. That was a good-looking play, wasn't it, Coach? Oh, yeah. This offensive coordinator must have seen something in the defense he really liked. It's first and 10. Ball on the 42-yard line. Michigan goes with the ace set here. A little juke. They'll bring him down. Picked up big yards there, and he's going to have a first down. Yeah, nice job there. This guy does a good job in reading his blocks and accelerating through the holes. First and ten. Ball on the 47-yard line. The Wolverine come out in the shotgun. the ball. No, they fake it. Going deep. Lays it out there. And it falls incomplete. Too tall for his intended target and that should have been six. Yep, he had his man wide open, but his arm didn't do what his brain told him to do. So it's second and ten. This is the sixth play of this drive. The Wolverine with four receivers. Back to pass. He steps up, rifles this one out to the left. It's deflected. Incomplete. Number 16, the intended receiver on the play. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. And they have three bunch. Back to pass. Throw. And it's caught. He has some room. And they make the stop. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense. And in this case, he did. Nice job. They come out in a goal line set. Inside give, makes a move, bounces off the would-be tackler. Brought down, and they keep it on the ground for the first down. Nothing too fancy here. The key is that the running back was able to convert the first down. It's first and ten. This is the ninth play of this drive. The Wolverine line up with three receivers bunch. Comes across the middle, and he can't make the catch. And it looks like there's an injury down there on the field. Second and ten, and this is the tenth play of the drive. Michigan lines up in a double tight set. Nice play fake. Here's the long ball, left side. Incomplete pass. Poor pass, and his tight end couldn't reach it. Third down and 10 coming up. This is the 11th play of this drive. They'll bring in their dime packing. He drops back. Throws this one out to the left. And it's incomplete. He had his wide out, but he couldn't hit him. When he misses, it's usually high. And that's something he's been working very hard with his coach on. Another fourth down facing this offense. But they did convert earlier this drive. Single set back to you. Here we go. Looking. He's going left. And he can't hang on to it. And the D answered the call there. And this is huge for them. It's setting up the stage for their offense to take the field and make some big-time plays. They'll 
They'll get the ball here at the 36. Number 10 lines up in the shotgun. They'll throw on first down. Throws it to the outside. He's got an opening. The 10. Touchdown, Michigan. And that is not what they had in mind. It was simply a bad play. Turnovers are bad on home, but when you add the fact that it results in points for the opposition, uh-oh, that will kill you every time. Tacks on the extra point. And just over two minutes left here in the third. The score is Michigan 21, Notre Dame 14. like they're ready for the kickoff. Kicks it off. Number 28 fields it at the one. They're ready to start another drive, hoping to duplicate the results of the last one, which ended in a touchdown. It's first and 10, ball on the 26. Notre Dame sets up in the eye. They'll throw on first down. He's looking. Rolling out to the right side. Throws this one out to the right. He let that one go before the defense got to him, and it fell incomplete. Sometimes if you can safely get rid of the ball, it's your best option. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 26. One man backfield. Drops back to pass. Looks across the middle. Off his hands, incomplete. The big guy let it go through his fingers. The tight end's hands are all torn up and his knuckles are swollen from blocking every day in practice. I gotta give this guy a break. I don't know about that, coach. Nowadays, tight ends gotta be able to do more than just block. He should have caught that ball. The Irish line up with three wide. Back to pass. Steps up, looking. Heaves a long one down the middle. And they couldn't hook up on that one. And the coach is talking to his quarterback after that quick three and out. He missed on all his passes and really seemed out of sync with his receiver. Notre Dame ready to put this one away. He gets it off. Number 15, fields it at the 35. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll go to work at the 46-yard line. One man backfield. Bring him down. The running back gets two on the carry. Gain of two on the play. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 48. Watch out for the man at wideout. He's feeling it right now. 391. They hand it off again. Little shake and bake move. Tackle. 
And that one goes for a big, big first down. You know, every time you run the ball successfully like that, that defense starts to creep up a little bit. That's when you go to the air, my friend. Over the top. It's first and 10, ball on the 44-yard line. Number 12 with three wide receivers. And they make the stop. The running back gives them six yards on the ground. Second and four coming up here. Ball on the 38-yard line. The Wolverines line up with four wideouts. Inside gives. Juke move. And he's taken down. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. Third and one. Ball on the 35-yard line. Michigan will line up in a jumbo set here. They'll throw for the first. He's looking. Here comes the pressure. Throws back across field. And he's shoved out of bounds. That'll be a first down after the short game. It's first and ten. This is the sixth play of this drive. One man backfield. He drops back. Steps up in the pocket. Looks. He's looking down the middle. Got it. The ten. Touchdown, Michigan. And he comes up with his second touchdown catch of the game right there. Kirk, this kid is tough to stop. Yeah, you're right, Coach. You try to keep tabs on him, but eventually he's going to find a way to get open. I think you need to double-team him. the PAT. And now we're going to take a look at the Pontiac Drive Summary. like they're ready for the kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. Number 20 fields it in the end zone. Not a very good series for this offense on their last drive as they were forced into a three and out. Boy, oh boy, they had nothing going last time. Yeah, maybe, Scooter, you need to get out there and show them what you're made out. Somebody get me a helmet quickly. And this impact linebacker is fired up down there. They'll throw on first down. He steps up, rolls to the right, wants to throw outside. It's deflected. The pass was knocked down. This defense is very aggressive, and they swarm to the football. They're always making plays to disrupt the passing game. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 18. Number 10 has four receivers lined up here. Drops back to pass. Throws. It falls incomplete. He had his wide out, but he couldn't hit him. When he misses, it's usually high. And that's something he's been working very hard with his coach on. Third down and 10 coming up. Ball on their own 18. Number 10. 
Number 10 with three wide receivers. Steps up, looking. He's going left. The ball is tipped. Not on target at all this drive, and that'll bring up fourth down. Notre Dame ready to put this one away. Number 17 gets it off. And it's out of bounds at the 49-yard line. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They're on the right side of the 50 as they start this drive. The defense lines up with six DBs. pitch it and now he's going to throw it by the receiver they'll bring him down and the trickery pays off with a nice gain and a first down first and ten ball on the 27 the Wolverine Go with the eye formation. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. He's looking. Wants to throw outside. Incomplete. Nice pass. Just wasn't caught. And when you're a tight end, you usually don't get too many passes thrown your way. So you've got to catch the easy ones. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 27-yard line. Nickel defense. He drives back. He steps up. He's going right. It's tipped. Incomplete pass. Third and ten. Ball on the 27. Set back to you. Drops back to pass. Steps up. Looks. He's rolling right. Across the middle. The ball is tipped. Well, again, they can't hook up, and it'll bring up fourth down. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. He gets it up, and it sails through the upright. Time to take a look at the Pontiac Drive Summary. And remember, the good folks at Pontiac have been bringing you fuel for the soul since 1926. like they're ready for the kick. Kicks it off. Number 20 takes it from the six. The offense gets ready to start a new drive as they just couldn't get anything going on their last possession. Going three and out. They'll take over at the 23-yard line. Number 10 comes to the line with three wide. Hand off on the counter. And he's tackled. Three yard gain by the running back. Three yard gain on the play. Second and seven coming up here. Ball on the 26. Let's see if they look the wideouts way. He is in the zone. And they hit him in the backfield. A loss on that one as he couldn't get past those big linemen. You got that right. They sacrificed their bodies in there and stuffed him. It's third down and eight to go. Ball on their own 25. 
They come out with three wide receivers. Steps up in the pocket. Fires deep down the right side. And that one's fallen incomplete. A bullet to the receiver, but he couldn't hang on. The quarterback put that ball right where it needed to be. That guy's got to make the catch. Lines up with three receivers. Looking. He's going right. Got it. Knocked out of bounds. Unbelievable pass. They don't care what down it is. This defense can't let that happen. If you stop a guy on third down, you can't let him go forward on fourth like that. First and ten. This is the fifth play of this drive. They line up in the shotgun. Back to pass. Over the middle. Has it to the senior. He ran a good route there and was able to pick up yards underneath the coverage. It's okay to move the ball in small portions because it relaxes the offense. It can open things up for the big play. It's second down and four to go. And this is the sixth play of the drive. They line up in the shotgun. Drop back to pass. Let's it fly. Complete. A four-yard loss. Third and eight. Ball on the 39-yard line. Nickel defense. He drops back. Throws short. And it's caught. Gets past the tackler. Got an opening. Tackle. Notre Dame comes to the line, only one man in the backfield with the throw. He's into the open field. Complete, and he's taken down. Way to look it in. Nice catch. Sure was. He displayed some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down. Hey. Notre Dame goes with the ace set here. Nice play fake. Once and all. Calls it in for the touchdown. What an impressive call. I can hear the defense shutters run all the way up here. Boy, did they fall for that one or what? on the extra point. Here's the Pontiac drive summary, bringing you fuel for the soul. Kick. They were really looking to get the ball back. Yeah, but it's not over yet. They can still get a three and out or come up with a turnover. And they'll look to capitalize on the good field position here. Brought down. Six yard pickup. On the carry. Gain of six on the play. Second and four coming up here. Ball on the 36 yard line. Six DBs in the lineup. They hand it off. 
They'll bring him down. Notre Dame takes a timeout. It's third down and a yard for the first down. Ball on the 33. Number 20 is feeling it, and he wants the football in his hands. Third to shorten the hand it off. And down he goes. Notre Dame calls a timeout. First and ten. Ball on the 29-yard line. Michigan will line up in a jumbo set here. Inside give. Brought down. They gained five yards there. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 24-yard line. The Fighting Irish bring in their dime package. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And he's going to lose yards on this one. They didn't let him get anything going on that play. No, they didn't. Heck, they didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. Single set back to you. Another run. And he's taken down. Notre Dame takes a timeout. Try a long field goal here. The kick is up. And it is good. So we take a moment to check out the Pontiac drive summary. Michigan lines up for the kickoff. Number 28 and number 20 back to return. Decent kick, looks to be returnable. Number 20 fields it at the three. He jukes it. They moved the ball very effectively on their last drive, which ended with a touchdown. The defense has been talking it over on the sideline, trying to make some corrections. Let's see if they can stop them this time. They'll start this drive at the 22. They come out with three wide receivers. They'll throw on first down. Across the middle. Finds the man. They'll bring him down. He may have been seriously injured on that play. Yo, he's in a lot of pain down there. I hope he can bounce back from this one, you guys. He's a good kid. First and ten. Ball on the 40-yard line. Going with the shotgun here. Back to pass. He steps up. He's looking. He's drilled as he throws. Complete, and he's on the run. Move those sticks. That's a first down. And a great catch, too. Did you see how he put that one in? Well, there's no doubt about it. He can catch the football. A look at our Old Spice Red Zone numbers. Red Zone, when performance matters the most. Another trip to the Red Zone. Last time, it resulted in a touchdown. 
Here he goes. And down he goes. And the halfback ripped off a nice game there to get him the first. Hey, this kid's a good-looking back. Let's see if they go to him again. So this rivalry will have to wait another year to renew their acquaintances. Was this one any different than previous years? Michigan comes away with bragging rights this year, and I'm sure the fans and students will enjoy it just as much as the players. They were the better team today and added another great chapter to this rivalry. Thanks for joining us for another presentation of NCAA Football 2006. And again, our final score in this one, Michigan 34, Notre Dame 21.